Hello and welcome to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today is the last segment of our acrylic series where we're talking about all things acrylic. This one is called Present. We're going to be discussing the proper use for acrylic varnishes and also some other products that can be used as a acrylic varnish. The purpose of a varnish is basically to seal and protect your acrylic paintings. Also to impart a specific sheen that you may want to have on your paintings. Personally, I'm all about the shiny. I kind of like that. I think it makes um, the darks come out and the lights really pop and stuff like that. But it's all about your personal preference. Most of the varnishes that we sell that are for acrylic come in a fluid format and they will tell you on the outside what the finish will be. Whether it is matte, which means that it'll dry to a dull finish, or if it is satin, which means that it is not shine, not too shiny, but it is not matte either. Or we have the gloss, which is my personal favorite, um, and which will give you a glass-like sheen on the top of your paintings. All of these will need to be applied after the painting is completely and totally dry. So not just dry to the touch, but dry dry. So especially if you have a painting that has like an impasto finish with a thick, heavy application of paint, this can't just be skinned over. This has to be dry all the way to the bone before you apply your varnish. If it doesn't, that um, acrylic polymer will continue to off gas underneath the varnish. It may cause it to just crack and slide off. So you wanna be absolutely sure that your painting is completely dry before you varnish with any kind of product. Um, there are several brands though that have products that have almost like a varnish built in. For instance, like matte medium. This one is a low gloss acrylic medium that you can mix it. And I use this product a lot because you can mix with your paint, you can put it on as a varnish, but if you're mixing it with all of the paint throughout, then you're gonna get a matte finish when it dries anyway. So it's kind of a two for one and it saves you a little bit of money. Then I also wanted to mention to you Dorland's Wax Medium. Now granted, this is a product that is designed to be used in conjunction with oil paint, like a cold wax painting medium but Dorland's has 8 million uses <laughs> it should have an ad in the farmer's almanac it can be used to refinish furniture you can seal metal you can do all kinds of stuff with this I have a friend Marion Cloninger who does really beautiful acrylic collage and she has used Dorland's in the past to varnish her pieces because this can be put on just like you would put on turtle wax um, like car polish where you wax on and then you give it 24 hours and then you wax it off and it makes for a really brilliant scalable varnish um, that is archival and it is absolutely wonderful it's a really unique product we have done videos about Dorland's before so check this channel for um, even more in-depth information about it those are some um, basic ideas and some information about how varnishing um, your acrylic paintings to present them um, with the various products that we have right here at Cheap Joe's. We hope that this answers some of your questions. We appreciate your viewer questions. We so happy to get the feedback. So if you do have other questions, feel free to send them in on the comments or email us. Um, we would love to hear from you, but uh, thank you for watching and we hope that you enjoy. Thanks for joining us for another installment of Two Minute Art Tips right here at Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. We hope you enjoyed this video and maybe learned a little something. If so, give us a like, comment with your thoughts, and share with a friend. Subscribe below and don't miss a single two minute art tips and help us reach 150,000 subscribers. See you next time. Thank you.